Don't you just hate it when that happens. Hello all. Uh, yeah, so I'm just uh, testing out the wipers there and uh, this this one here, uh, see the way it's all off down to the side um, and touching the, the bottom of the windscreen. Um, yeah, it's it's not supposed to be like that. Uh, so we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this, this wiper arm off and have a look and see what um, what might be going on inside um, or what might be causing it to slip like this. In order to get access to the, the wiper here, we just start by pulling this little kind of plastic cap off. I'm gonna get this nut off here. The way, uh, so the way these wipers work, um, the way all wipers work, is that there's a little spindle in here, which this wiper arm sits on top of, and it grips uh, a number of um, grips onto a number of splines inside, which we'll see here in a minute. So, just lift the arm up. Okay, yeah, see that, that should not be moving on its own. So I'll just pull this off here, not lose the washer at the same time. Yeah, so if we get in here and have a look, all this uh, mechanism that grips the, grips the wiper arm has all worn away over time. Um, as, yeah, this is a common thing that happens um, after a while. He's, it's just wear down. This is slipping inside the uh, arm here as it as it rotates. So we need to replace this whole spindle here, and this mechanism goes all the way back into the van. And um, so we're gonna have to pull this out and put a new one in. Um, I have a I have a new new one here in stock, um, with all the other bits and pieces to replace as well, like the rubbers and um, the cap and everything. So we'll replace all that at the same time. It's actually easiest to demonstrate this with the the new part. This um, ridged section uh, attaches onto a bar which is rotated by the wiper motor back and forth and that's like kind of translated into this sort of motion here this is the only bit that protrudes out the front uh, of the van and that's where the the wiper arm attaches to so you got the motor going like that moving it back and forth um, and then rotating the wiper arm and moving the blades across the screen um, <clears throat> so what we need to do is uh, to get in behind the dashboard and pop this uh, pop this old part out and pull it back in through the van. Welcome to behind the dashboard. To get the glove box out to get access to this. We want to separate this ball joint up here um, from, the, from the main wiper mechanism. And then in theory, uh, once we undo the, the nut on the outside, uh, we should be able to pull this old spindle back out through. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get up pliers and try and wiggle wiggle this uh, arm as part of the wiper mech off here. Right, the nut's off um, on the outside. Uh, so we should be ready to withdraw the wiper spindle from the inside of the van now. Now, uh, the only thing holding this, uh, the wiper mechanism is now is this sir clip here. There we go. off so that yeah that's free inside there now okay it's coming out yeah one old spindle now you can see uh, the difference between the old and the new one here um the old one has a lot of kind of damage around the, the top there uh, it's yeah, it's it's quite badly worn. Um, the new ones, obviously, yeah, looking uh, looking a lot better, proper proper threads and everything in it. The new ones a slightly different design. Um, just these kind of circular bits are a little bit different, but um, it's essentially the same thing. So uh, yeah, it should be should be fine to go into the van. Um, so I'm just gonna refit the new one now. Gonna refit the new uh, new rubber here. Um, so it's just a good idea to replace these. Uh, when you're doing um when you're doing the wiper spindle because the rubber's gonna dry out and stuff. 
Uh, I've, I've soaked this one in some boiling water just to soften it up a bit. Just give it a quick little twist around to make sure it's all even. Nice. Yeah, looking good. Now, yeah. next stage is to get the new get the new spindle into place. Uh, one thing I noticed about the uh, the new wiper spindle that I got was that it was missing um, all the nearly all the the fixings necessary to actually attach it to the van. Um, there's like two kind of low profile 17 mil nuts uh, they were missing um, they didn't come in the kit and there was also a couple of washers as well um, so I had to scavenge them from the old wiper spindle and put them onto the onto the new one yeah so it's just something to be aware of if you order one of these kits that they usually don't come with everything so don't you know don't throw away the don't throw away the stuff you have on, on uh, your existing spindle I've put the wipers in their kind of parked position, so you know this is where they'll come to rest, um, and they're in the right place. And one important thing is when you're bolting these arms back down, that you don't do it when the spring is pressing against the screen, um, because you'll kind of you'll pull the arm in a weird direction, and might you might damage the new spindle when you're doing that. So we want the uh, arm to be laying flat when we do this. So we just kind of pull the arm back out and then uh, just put the little washer on and the nut and then just kind of carefully do everything up you don't want to disturb the position of the blade too much and uh, it's important not to over tighten just kind of like get it to the stage where it's just sort of like just giving some resistance like there that should be okay um so we drop that back down let's give the wipers a quick test uh don't forget to wet the screen first it's not a good idea to run wipers across a dry screen <laughs> Yeah, that looks good. Um, so we no longer have a wandering wiper. I think uh, considered that a successful fix.